Disney and Marvel's Epic Eternals fell just short of early domestic box office projections this weekend, opening at number one across North American markets with $71 million, according to estimates from measurement firm Comscore. The Marvel Cinematic Universe tentpole, initially expected to gross $80 million to $85 million domestically, fared better overseas, collecting $90. 7 million internationally for a global cumulative of $161. 7 million. By pandemic, and non-Marvel, standards, Eternals is a domestic box office success, securing fourth place among all titles released during the COVID-19 crisis. But compared with other Marvel entries launched during and before the public health emergency, the superhero film's domestic box office performance is lackluster. Marvel and Sony's Venom, Let There Be Carnage still holds the pandemic era opening weekend record at $90 million, followed by Marvel Disney properties Black Widow, which launched at $80, 4 million in July, and Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which opened at $75, 4 million in September. Black Widow likely lost some box office revenue because of its simultaneous streaming launch on Disney+, Plus, whereas Venom, Shang-Chi and Eternals all open exclusively in theaters. After Marvel's sweep of the top four spots at the pandemic box office, number five is Universal's F9, The Fast Saga, which grossed $70 million during its opening weekend in June. Other major post-COVID-19 debuts include United Artists releasing No Time to Die, Universal's Halloween Kills, Paramount's A Quiet Place Part 2 and Warner Brothers Doom. Directed by Oscar winner Chloe Chow, Eternals centers on a team of immortal extraterrestrial beings tasked with repeatedly saving humanity from monstrous forces over thousands of years. The film star set it ensemble, the most diverse in MCU history, includes Angelina Jolie, Lauren Ridloff, Don Lee, Kunal Nanjani, Barry Keoghan, Brian Tyree Henry, Leah McHugh, Gemma Chan, Richard Madden, and Salma Hayek. Stacked up against other MC movies distributed by Disney since 2012, Eternals has outperformed only Ant-Man, which opened domestically at $57. Million in 2015. On the other end of the MCU box office spectrum, the Avengers movies reign supreme, the Avengers opened at $207. 4 million in 2012, Infinity War launched at $257. 7 million in 2018 and Endgame debuted at a whopping $357. 1 million in 2019. Multiple factors might have contributed to a relatively disappointing domestic box office opening for Eternals. After a long, pandemic-induced MCU drought ended on Disney Plus with one division in January, it's possible audiences are experiencing some Marvel fatigue. Eternals is the sixth MCU installment to premiere in 2021, following one division, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, Black Widow, 